In this demonstration, I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can convert your deck into a covered porch or a screened-in porch. Uh, we're going to start off with the screened-in porch because everything applies. Uh, the only real difference is screens or no screens. Uh, so here's a 20 by 16 deck. Um, I've already gone and placed all my rail sections around <coughs> and I've selected the textures that I, I would like. I'm going to go ahead and rotate up into 3D in this so we can see uh, what everything looks like. And what I'm going to do is because all my textures are selected, I can create my sleeves or my posts that are 8 foot uh, over my railing sleeves if I want, or I can simply ungroup these objects. Um, so I'm going to hit Command U on the Mac or Control U on the PC and ungroup these. And you can actually go into at this point by double clicking on the rail section simply selecting it and pressing delete and we can delete these posts and you can do that all the way around and then you exit the group um, and you'll see that those posts are moving we can now switch back to our top view and we're going to take the rectangle tool double click on it and we can specify the size of the sleeves that we would like once you've specified uh, the size press OK and you can go in here and simply click on the spot you want. Um, you can leave the sleeves there uh, for the decks because you're going to be covering them up and you won't see them anyway. Or you can do what I did and ungroup it uh, and simply place that in there. So from here, we're going to go ahead and copy this uh, sleeve. You can also extrude this first. Um, so Command D on Mac, Control E on the PC and we can extrude this eight feet. If you extrude it first, you don't have to go around and do each one individually. So we're going to copy this to our next location. And what you would do is you would copy this all the way around the deck. But for this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and do this one section. So when I rotate up into 3D, we'll get it centered on our screen. And we'll do an OpenGL rendering here. Uh, and you'll see that we now have that section being connected. Um, and like I said, you could continue that process all the way around the deck, and you would end up uh, you know, with all your, your sleeves that uh, go to the roof. From here, we want to switch to uh, a left or a right view. Because we started drawing on the left side of the deck, I'm going to switch to the left view. Once in the left view, um, you can see your overall height. So what we want to do here is simply take our rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle that represents um, the area inside of, of uh, our screened in porch. Once you've created the rectangle, you want to extrude this. Uh, all you need to extrude it is about 0.25 of an inch. You just want something you know, fairly thin, and then you want to go in your resource browser for DeckWorks um, file and select your screen. So while that's uh, screen selection is selected, double click your screens and that's going to apply that texture um, to that space. You can then switch back to a top view and you might have to adjust the actual location of the screens. So I'm going to simply pull this down uh, until it overlaps with my rails and we can zoom in a little bit to, to get a little bit of a closer look. Now if you uh, wanted to extend this a little farther, you can grab one of these blue points um, and actually bring it down all the way to the other posts um, and this will make the process go a little quicker. Now once that's done, you can select your rectangle tool and you're going to simply draw a rectangle that covers your entire screened in porch area. Now with that rectangle selected, go to AEC and then you want to go to create roof. Once you have your create roof, you can type in anything, um, any of your specifications here that you would want, uh, and press OK. And then we need to edit the actual roof. So we're going to select the back of the roof up against the home, change it to a gabled in, and we're going to make the overhang zero. Make sure you type in zero here and just not delete uh, whatever is currently there. It won't allow it to apply, so make sure you hit zero. Now we're going to select the sides and we can do gabled ends uh, to make this a shed style roof or we could just leave it um, how we had it. Now we can switch to a left view again and we're going to select the roof and go ahead and move it into location. So once we're here we'll do control M or command M on the Mac and move it up to the 8 feet and when we rotate this in 3D you'll see that we'll have our roof that sits on our screened in porch 
Now the last step is I'll go ahead and create a camera view. So you're going to select the light bulb, RenderWorks camera, and we'll go ahead here and uh, create a quick little view and I'll, I'll render it up so you can see what the screen will look like um, you know, once you've done these steps. I'll just adjust my view a little bit here and go ahead and render it in Final Quality Render Works. As it renders up, you'll see the screen section is there that we've applied. Um, and this will give a customer a good idea or a good feeling of what it's going to look like. You can always take the steps a little bit farther and actually ungroup the rail sections and slide the bottom rail to the bottom or draw some sort of trim piece in there. But uh, 9 out of 10 times, uh, this will give you uh, what you need to be able to get an idea across to a customer. So you'll see that we extended that screen so it continues to go. All we would have had to done is continue to copy our posts and all the spots and it would have been complete. I hope this was uh, helpful with the screened in porches. If you want a covered porch, obviously you don't draw the screen in uh, and you'll come out with the same outcome. If you have any other questions, you can call us at 888-317-8426 or reach us on the web at www.designworkscoorcompany.com. So that's www.designworkscompany.com or www.designworksco.com. Thank you.